Hello again, it's Tim Spector here of the Zoe COVID Symptom Study app, giving you the weekly update and it's pretty much all good news. We have had uh, further major reductions this week in the number of new cases down to 5,400, which is a long way from that peak back in January the 1st when we had around 70,000. And this means that your chances of bumping into someone uh, with COVID uh, symptomatic is around one in 620. And that figure varies a little bit now uh, between the north and the south of the UK. Uh, your chances being uh, less of meeting someone in, in the south than in the north, but it's all pretty good news compared to where we were. Now, the other data needs to be put in context because we're also seeing falls in deaths now down to about 190 a day, which uh, compares to about uh, over a thousand due to other causes uh, at this time of year. A uh, number of admissions is also down across the country, 28%, and beds that are occupied by COVID is between about 5 and 10% across the country. Again, uh, really major decreases. So this is all great. And, and this means that as rates are low, we've had to switch things around on the app a bit because the very local trend lines we were giving you were not accurate. So we've changed those and given you a 14 day rolling average, we should smooth out those effects. And uh, it, brings home the importance that when rates are low, we need more people in each area to report. So do share and bully your friends into reporting as well if you want the best local data. Now, uh, schools are going back uh, and have gone back across the country and people have predicted what's going to happen, uh, a lot of potential gloom, but I don't, I'm not that worried. But I, I do think we are going to see increase in infections, but some of these are likely to be common colds, uh, as happened back in September. So good idea to keep logging your children's symptoms and join our schools program if that's possible. And remember that children do get uh, non-classical symptoms uh, of COVID. And some schools are... Uh, getting the parents to check the lateral flow tests. And remember that when we're doing around a million tests uh, a day, as we are incredibly in this country now, uh, there is a very small false positive rate of around three per thousand, which means that when levels are low in your area and the chance of having COVID are low, um, it's quite possible you might have a false positive result on a particular lateral flow. And so, before panicking, just do take uh, repeat that test on another device. That's the safest thing to do uh, at present. Um, the other really good news is that 23 million people have now been uh, vaccinated at least once, and which is about half of the working population. And we're starting to see those benefits. And 720,000 of you guys are, have helped us with our research and are logging your vaccines with us and your symptoms and whether you get infected again. And this is fantastically valuable. And just to reiterate some of the results we're getting, which should be published soon uh, in a major journal, we are still seeing a very good safety record of both types of vaccine you have an 80% chance of having absolutely no problem at all. About one in five people are having some minor side effects, but nothing that really lasts uh, for many people more than a couple of days and is mild. People who've had previous COVID do seem to have a, a bit stronger systemic effect. Uh, that's just something to be aware of, but again, it doesn't seem to be lasting. We will be uh, getting more data on that and, and working out more precisely uh, those figures as, as we get them. In terms of how 
protected you are after the vaccine, uh, really no protection at all for the first 12 days. And we are still seeing quite a few infections at that time, so be careful. After that time, uh, last week we saw about 200 cases of uh, new infections and people who had a vaccine, reminding us that it doesn't work 100%, but that figure is getting less all the time. And we now have got data showing that uh, after about three weeks, you get to 65%. Uh, and once you get to uh, two months, it's about 75%. And this is fantastic uh, news shows that that immunity just seems to be building rather than fading, which was uh, a potential risk of just giving this uh, one jab. So uh, do keep giving us your vaccine data. We desperately need more information on the AstraZeneca one. Uh, it seems that people being vaccinated are not getting tested as much as people did on the Pfizer. So we need more of you AstraZeneca's if you get an invitation from us to get a test, please help out our research. That'd be great. Uh, we are getting some interesting data now, um, suggesting that certain age, people of certain ages, or if you're overweight, might have a slightly uh, increased risk of getting infected after the vaccine. It might work less well. And we're going to be looking at people with other diseases such as cancer soon. Uh, so this is really vitally important work that you're helping us with. Um, so finally, um, the real good news is that we have one of the lowest rates of COVID now in Europe. Uh, everything seems to be going on track and we really want you to keep logging, keep telling us about your vaccines. Remember that any symptom can be important. So keep logging and stay safe and thanks for your support.